Hello everyone, this video we are going to be talking about how we can fill a JavaScript array from user input. And the way we're going to do this is with an infinite, or I guess I should say indefinite, loop. Meaning this loop is going to go on for as long as it will until we tell it to stop. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use a while loop and we're going to put true in the parentheses. So this means it's basically going to continue as long as this is true. And because we put true there, it will always be true. <laughs> and you know what else is true? Dev Mountain, that's right. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description if you wanna check them out. They offer classes in JavaScript-based web development, iOS, and more. If you wanna take these things seriously and get a job in the industry, this is the way to go because lots of companies are hiring people straight from these boot camps and it's a great way to jumpstart your career. So let them know I sent you their way, they'll give you $250 off, so do yourself a favor and, and go do it. <laughs> now let's talk a little bit more about this loop here. This is an indefinite loop, meaning we need to tell it when to stop. First, we're just going to build an infinite loop, and then we'll talk about how to make it stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to get user input. So we're just going to say, let input equal, and then we'll just get it from a prompt. And we're just going to say add a grade. Golly, my dog is annoying <laughs> in a good way. What are you going to do with this grade? We are actually going to add it to the array using grades.push. So this is a method that is available to arrays and it's just going to basically append whatever you put inside of these parentheses to the last position in the array. So we'll just put the input right here. Now the thing is, if we do this, it's not going to work quite the way we expect. Let me show you. First, let me comment out this loop so we're not stuck in an infinite loop. And then we'll just console log input. So, um, actually, let's console log grades so we just get the entire array. When we do a refresh and we add a grade such as five, you can see it's stored as a string. Maybe not the end of the world, but in general, we want to store them as numbers because they are numbers. So the way we can do that is pass input into the number constructor. So this will take anything and give us back a number. Awesome. So now when we do a refresh, put the value five, you can see it's stored as a number. So that's the first step. Now we can get that loop back. So we have a way to continually add items to the array, but we need a way to tell it to stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a value from input, and if it's a particular value, we're going to stop the loop. This is known as a sentinel value. It's basically a way to cancel. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if input is equal to, and then let's just go with Q. This is basically short for quit. So if the user puts a Q, it's just going to stop. And then we just put a break. That's going to break out of that loop and it's gonna be done. So we'll do a refresh, put a five, put in a four. You can see it's adding to the array, but as soon as I put a Q, it stops. Perfect. So the only other thing I would, say, I would say about this is that we also want there to be null. So if we say input is equal to null, now when we do a refresh, if we press cancel, it'll also be done. Without this input equal 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 null, <laughs> what's gonna happen is it will just continue to ask us. Frick. Oh, I gotta save. <laughs> and you can see when I'm clicking cancel, it's gonna continue to ask us. So we gotta make sure that we have that in there. Now let's get out of that with Q. <laughs> awesome, so that is basically the syntax for creating an indefinite loop with a sentinel value. If we press cancel, the input is going to be null. We can also put Q to cancel it. You could put whatever you want, I just decided on Q. Later on, I think this could be converted into a very pretty user interface, where maybe there's an input and you can continually add a grade and it'll list the grades in a nice pretty fashion on the side, <laughs> whatever you wanna do. But right now, my focus is just on loops. We're just going over the concepts. Later on, we'll get into manipulating the UI and maybe we'll go back and implement that. So let me, got, let me know what you guys think, if you think that'd be a good idea. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And if you're wondering what we're talking about, well, you see this push method here? Well, there's actually a lot of different array methods. We're gonna be going over some of the most popular important methods to know. Thank you and now I'll see you in the next one.